Hey, this is BNW322 here. Uh, I uh, always wanted to make an electronic firework detonator, uh, so this week I decided to do it. Uh, a special thanks to Raptor Rochester. He helped me with the internals, getting all the insides right. He has a great video on making these. And I uh, kind of took, copied a couple videos on here. And here's transistor. And then it's just hooked up to the speaker wires. And then I have another transistor. It's a Darlington transistor actually, hooked up to the first transistor because I wasn't getting enough power with just a single transistor swipe. Obviously I put two in. Uh, if you need the part numbers, I might just put it in the, uh, in the description down below. Otherwise, email email me about it if I forget to put it in there. The reason why I, this isn't snapped down by itself is because there's too much stuff in there. I don't know if you watch Raptor Rochester's videos, he really discourages using the Altoid skin tin because it endangers shortening out your circuit whenever you're trying to put it all together. But I found it makes a really sturdy. Uh, uh, feel to it. it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart and it's all just in one spot and I didn't have to buy hardly anything so we just had the Altoids tin so I'll turn it on here uh, I'll just set it uh, with this circuit I have you have to have a switch that will um, make sure that there is no power coming from the speaker to the transistors otherwise the light will turn on like here if I turn the switch on and I press go see the light turns on um, that would blow you up if you did not have a switch here so it's very important that you have the switch uh, here I'll set it back to five and I'll press start and I turn that on there we go and there is my electronic detonator I'm going to uh, give you guys a few demonstrations of it um, so I'm here just tomorrow now, I'm just testing out my new detonator uh, for fireworks. Um, so here we go, it's uh, five, four, three, two, one.